All right, so I switched to the blockchain.com. Here we, this web page uh, allows you to search many blockchains. So, so I search for the block number 666,666. Now the web page asked me if I'm going to look at the Bitcoin block, Ethereum block, or Bitcoin cash block. Also, Bitcoin has a testnet. So when you install Bitcoin Core, you can also, instead of using the original Bitcoin a blockchain you can use a test blockchain where developers actually test stuff there so the bitcoins here has no value but if you want to experiment you can use this so let's go to the bitcoin and uh, see uh, this block so i told you before that there are, since this number is something unique people put some hidden messages here so if you look here uh, for instance, this one looks suspicious. Also, this one looks suspicious. So as you can see, we talked about this uh, transaction before because it has two vanity addresses, right? Because it starts with God and then Bible. And since 666 number is included in the Bible, this is not a coincidence. This per person had a... Uh, uh, deliberately put this transaction here. And if you click to the hash of the transaction here, we go to the transaction itself. As you can see, we have the output zero where the money is sent to God. This is the uh, traditional transfer script. Also to this account. And then we have the third one, uh, which started with op return. And then people put here actually anything that they want in hexadecimal format. So in the slides, I show you that there was a hidden message here. Actually, this is a, a quotation from uh, Bible. But let's look at the other blocks and other transactions and see if there's something else hidden. For instance, this looks suspicious because this transaction starting from BC1 to this address sends the same amount of money uh, with uh, subtracted with the uh, reward fees, sends the money to itself, and there is an op return here with zero transfer there. So apparently there is a message hidden here. Okay, and you can also look at here uh, to the fee. Here the person paid a lot of satoshis per byte. Right, this is why the miner included it in the first place. Again, this one pays a lot satoshis per byte. And as you can see, it becomes smaller and smaller there. So let's look at this transaction. Okay. As you can see, uh, it sends the money to himself itself. But the, this part, after the op return, there is a message here. So let's copy this one and uh, paste it to our hexadecimal uh, converter. When we put it, it says the Garden of Eden 3D is alive, Eden3D.io. Actually, this is the 3D printer called Eden, and they're actually saying that they're now you know, selling their product. So there's a hidden message like this. So this is how you should you know, look for hidden messages. The op return is the thing that you should look for. So let's go back and see if there are anything looking suspicious. So we looked at these two transactions. These look normal, no vanity addresses or uh, no op return. And as you can see, there's an op return here. So we might think that there might be something hidden here. Let's go there, you know, copy the part here. I don't know what we will find there, I hope. It is not something bad. Okay, so, okay, this is in German. Berlin plant, migrant and quote von 13.5% für offline die Dienst. Okay, so if my German is uh, good enough, this says that Berlin, Berlin is planning to put a migration quota to 35%. So probably this is a headline from a newspaper. So maybe you should just copy it and, you know, check it. But probably uh, people were angry to this and, you know, wanted to put this on the 
uh, blockchain. So there's a German message hidden here. So if you go back to that transaction, this one, so as you can see, this amount of money is sent. So nothing is here at the output. So all of this money actually used as a transaction fee. Okay, so the miner received this one. So if we go to the up, as you can see, we have 6.25 for the block reward and fee reward in total is 0 0.5, which is uh, a lot higher than an average because this block number, you know, some special people wanted to put messages inside it. So if I go to the first page, if I go to the Coinbase transaction, you can see that it is sending the Coinbase money to here, but this is not 6.25. It is the sum of these two values. The uh, block reward and the fee rewards total. Because some of you asked how the transactions fees are collected, and this is how you collect it. In the Coinbase transaction, you transfer them to yourself. That's it. Okay. And miners just look at this number and check if it fits with, it is really the, uh, all of the fees that is included. So miner can actually write something more here, like seven bitcoins, but who knows when they are verifying the solution, we realize that there is an amount of fees paid that much. So they will reject the block. So this is the whole idea. So I don't know if there are more hidden messages. Here, as you can see, some money is sent to this uh, strange looking uh, account. So let's look at it. So here, as that wallet address is actually the base 58 encoding of all zeros. So if you're, you know, ripe MD 160, the output is all zeros, then you're hash output will be this, you know, hash 106 output will be all zeros. But in the base 58 encoding, it looks like this. And some people are sending money to this account. Since nobody knows the private key of this account, actually they are uh, burning that this much Bitcoin, okay? Probably this is a project and they are showing that they are burning their Bitcoins to uh, show people that they are really invested in this. Uh, project. So as you can see, there are a lot of transactions like that here. So let me look more, a little bit more and see if something strange is looking appears. Here's something strange happens. As you can see, there is a, a vanity address here. Sigi was here and a lot of sixes. And you might think that why not the remaining part is sixes. Recall the base 58 encoding because you had a checksum where you had to, you know, a small amount of bytes added to the end of the wallet address. So you don't have control over here. This is why the person couldn't write anything they wanted here because these parts come from the SHA-256 result. But these parts, uh, they manually written like Sigi was here and a lot of sixes. This means that actually, you cannot create such a vanity address because finding a private key that provides a public key, which tra uh, translated into this is almost impossible, right? You don't have that much computational power to create such a vanity address. So here, actually, the person who is transferring money to this address actually don't know the private key. So you can see it here. So they transferred 666 Bitcoins, of course, 0 0.00666. But it is green here, means that unspent. So that person actually doesn't know the private key themselves. So this is why they are not spending it. They are not claiming it, okay? So this is an example of how secret messages can be included in the uh, Bitcoin blockchain. So, you know, it will be from time to time nice to look at what people are adding into this uh, blockchain. And actually, you can automize this, you know, because this web page has an API. You can write a very simple Python code that traverse all of the transactions for looking up return of quotes and take the hexadecimal of the words and see if it means something meaningful. Okay.